hello welcome to my channel once again i came across this video it's a white man saying certain things that i think we already know as africans we know we know the truth it's just that sometimes we decide not to talk about it and when we even talk about it we don't even talk about it enough yes i want us to watch his video when we come back then we talk about it if you've been on TikTok for a while, you must have heard about a ton of Africans telling you that Europeans stole Africa's resources. Now, there's a lot to say about that. First and foremost, most of these resources are still in Africa, and they're not being stolen by Europeans. They're actually being sold to Europeans by the African state leadership. Your own elites are robbing you. It's not us doing it. Not anymore. The real issue, of course, is why aren't Africans using their own resources to do things? Why does Mr. Beast have to go to Kenya to build water wells? Why didn't the Kenyan government do it themselves? I suppose the Kenyan government could have done it themselves. They just chose not to do it. Nigeria is now a country of almost 220 million people, the largest country in Africa. But they only produce about 10% of the electricity that a small country like Hungary Hungary only has 10 million people, but they produce 10 times as much electricity as Nigeria does. <clears throat> I mean, I know you want to have your Wakanda, right? But do you expect white people to give it to you? No, you're supposed to build it yourself. Having said all this, it is, of course, obvious that we Europeans in the North need to prepare for a possible potential African rise in terms of technology and therefore also in terms of military capacity. And that means we in Europe need to already start looking ahead and thinking ahead about how we are going to win the war against Africa because there will be a future war between Europe and Africa. So there will be war. There will be a war between Europe and Africa. Africans, we are not calling for any war. All we are asking is you guys should stop manipulating our president. And let me even say this, I don't blame you. I don't blame you people. The only people that I blame is our leaders and the citizens. Because listen, most of the things he said, it's factual, like they are facts. I will never deny what he said, because listen, why are African politicians not doing what is best for their people? Listen, it is just 2007, around 2007, that Ghana discovered oil. Around 2007, that's when Ghana discovered oil. I thought in the olden days, when it comes to some of these deals that they go with these foreign powers to help them extract these oils, they didn't know what they were doing. So we being in this 21st century, I thought some of these things would change. But 2007, Ghana had discovered oil and now Ghana is a nation that has oil. But if you hear the agreement that went on between the people that are coming to extract the oil and we that own this oil, like you'll be mad. I learned initially when they went into this agreement, we were, the whole Ghana was getting just 10%. The whole Ghana was getting just 10%. Like sometimes, listen, I don't blame them. He's speaking this way, I don't blame him at all. I will blame we Africans, we Africans. Cause listen, who votes these people into power? We vote them into power. We vote based on tribalism. We vote based on tribalism. We vote based on he's in my party or I'm part of his party. So I must vote for him. These are some of the problems. We don't look at a good leader. We don't look at someone with a vision. We don't look at someone so the blame goes down right from whoever is leading us to us the citizens because we do these things i've said it on this channel that i'm waiting for the day that in ghana for instance in the ashanti region the ndc will win in the ashanti region i'm waiting for that day that in the Volta region mpp will win totally in the Volta region because we all say this is their stronghold it is like this is their stronghold it is not just their stronghold it is tribalism based on tribalism because the person and all the people that brought this party up are from that region or are from that tribe the ndc and the mpp same thing so they will come and they will do whatever because they know at the end of the day their people will vote for them and 
this has been going on for years and we are still experiencing it so listen he made reference to nigeria for instance look at nigeria nigeria is a very big country but they only produce about 10 percent of electricity for its citizens how mr beast coming all the way from america to build boreholes for people in africa in kenya why how much is ball can the government do or construct boreholes for the villages or these villages but we will wait for people to come from wherever and do it for them so for me some of the things or many of the things that he said he's right but that potential hold that he spoke about perhaps they want their future war with africa but we don't want any war all we want is they should just remove their mouth from all their ears and everything from our affairs everything they should just be on their own and we want to also be on our own and do what and control our affairs that's all we ask for all these things like people will come like listening to him you see that he some anger in him you people came you stole some of the resources we know now it is our leaders that are selling it to you we we know it, it's not like we don't know we know we all also know that you are the brain behind some of these things because when anybody comes into power in africa and is doing something better for its citizens you don't like that peps you people don't like that person and you do everything to bring that person down look at what you did to the libyan president gaddafi recently this burkina faso soldier this young man that plotted a coup and was successful because they've seen that he has sacked france he has sacked a lot of people like all these foreign uh, people that are manipulative he has sacked all of them and now they've tried so many times france has tried so many times just to get rid of this guy or plot another coup against him several times all because this guy is doing something better for his country and it is not benefiting france so don't just say that we can do it we can do it but because you know and the sad thing is when they want to plot anything any bad thing against us they use our own people they use our own people against us they use the our own people because they don't think i'm sure they will promise them some huge huge amount of monies they don't think thank you thank you so much for watching if you've been on TikTok for a while, you must have heard about a ton of Africans telling you that Europeans stole Africa's resources. Now, there's a lot to say about that. First and foremost, most of these resources are still in Africa, and they're not being stolen by Europeans. They're actually being sold to Europeans by the African state leadership. Your own elites are robbing you. It's not us doing it. Not anymore. The real issue, of course, is why aren't Africans using their own resources to do things? Why does Mr. Beast have to go to Kenya to build water wells? Why didn't the Kenyan government do it themselves? I suppose the Kenyan government could have done it themselves. They just chose not to do it. Nigeria is now a country of almost 220 million people, the largest country in Africa. But they only produce about 10% of the electricity that a small country like Hungary Hungary only has 10 million people, but they produce 10 times as much electricity as Nigeria does. <clears throat> I mean, I know you want to have your Wakanda, right? But do you expect white people to give it to you? No, you're supposed to build it yourself. Having said all this, it is, of course, obvious that we Europeans in the North need to prepare for a possible potential African rise in terms of technology and therefore also in terms of military capacity. And that means we in Europe need to already start looking ahead and thinking ahead about how we are going to win the war against Africa, because there will be a future war between Europe and Africa.